All right, guys, so I haven't made a video for a little while now. Um, been very busy. Just want to let you guys know an update on the Pistel X68. Just like everyone else, I'm having a problem. Now, at the beginning, before I even decided to buy this, I warned everyone, don't buy it. It's out too soon. There's not enough info on it. This and that. And I'm going to get all into that. But, um, <clears throat> hey, if you guys want one of these, go for it. I'm not on my channel. I ain't telling you don't buy it, buy it. I give my opinion if I think it's worth it. Um, yeah, I know earlier on I made a video saying I think it would be useful. But after having it for a while now, like three weeks and shooting it and testing it out and all that and having some fun with it <clears throat> i'm at the point now you guys i'm done with this thing honest to god and you're gonna find out why in a minute <clears throat> for one thing this here it's useless um the instruction booklet or manual whatever you want to call it it's garbage itself because it does not list the size O-rings, um, which we're going to get into in a minute. Re remember back in my video when I said this bolt has plastic on it. Remember that. <clears throat> There's nowhere in here that says parts or anything like that. I can't flip through all the pages, obviously, with one hand. But, um, you know, it shows you your basic stuff, how to load a magazine. Really? That's so simple to do, and everyone knows that. And right here, so you guys can see where it's made. In Finland, Lithuania, if I'm even pronouncing that right. Now, these two numbers here I have called several times. Today and uh, Friday. They block me from calling now. They don't want, they don't want me calling. For three weeks, they've stalled me with the rear cap, which is stripped. You can still remove it, still put it on, but it, nonetheless, it's stripped. And I used the correct wrench. And going back three weeks ago today, I originally messaged him about the cap. He said that week he'd get a cap out to me. And this was not MC, M Modern Combat Sports, by the way, um, or Defense Innovation, which honestly, I, I would be very embarrassed if I was that company selling this launcher right now. I, I'm sorry, I, that really hurts me to say that, but it's the truth. Um, <clears throat> getting back to the company next works precision I don't know where they come up with precision that's a gimmick to sell it um <clears throat> three weeks ago today i originally messaged about the cap he said he'll get it out that week well it's three weeks later never came no, no tracking no contact so I, clearly i'm not getting a cap um, let me back up to the second week. I, I emailed them and spoke on the phone and uh, they told me basically I haven't got there. I'm heading there today to the warehouse. That's when I called about the O-rings um, for extra sets. As you guys probably see in that uh, email I posted in my community section. Not sure if I still have it there or not. And well, this is the third week. Still have not received anything at all. And Friday, they quit taking my calls. Today, they pick up and hang up on me. It's a very poor company. Very, It's disgraceful. Um, again, not Defense Innovation. Take that name off it. I'm talking about the company who manufactures this. Nextworks. They're, they're a disgrace. They're, they're a freaking disgrace. Um as much as you pay for on this, pay for this launcher, and the thing breaks down, 
um, a week, well, not really brakes down, still worked, but the back tail cap started stripping. And even though you still put it on and off, it's still unacceptable for the price you pay. Well, I, I believe it's like $450. Um, and then basically you contact Nextworks Direct, right? Because they're, they're a company, they manufacture this, right? So they must have a warehouse and they must have parts laying around if you need, if you have problems with it, right? Um, every other company is that way anyhow. Um, then they say they're going to send them out. And then what gets me is they lie to me on the phone and they say, or through email, they say that, uh, just a moment. All right. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a minute because my dog was scratching on my door. I don't want to scratch it up. So where was I at? Uh, the guy says on the phone, Something along the lines of basically he contacted the company, I guess Next Works, and they have a shipment of O-rings and uh, the back tail cap, whatever you want to call that, the rear cap, uh, coming in. And then he says, oh, well, I'll just, I'll, I'll go there today and get them and then I'll send them out. Well, that caught a lot of red flags because this place is in Lithuania, okay? If I'm pronouncing that right, I don't really give a shit if I am at this point. And what is he going to do in two hours? Take a private jet for one thing? That that was a lie. In my opinion, that was a lie. Um, how I see it, because I still haven't received anything. Um, and then, like I mentioned, Friday comes. They quit taking my calls. Today, they pick up, hang up, pick up, hang up on both lines. So you know what? It's okay. Th this company's a, a, a disgrace. And... I, if I was a, a company selling this product, I would not have my name on there because Defense Innovation, Modern Combat Sports, they are a very good company. Although I am disappointed in them today, and honestly, you guys, I'm not sure if I'll be purchasing from that company any any time ever again. I got emails. I got text messages from him and first thing is he asked me did you take it apart at all the bolt well yeah i mean how else are we gonna maintenance it right and then try a troubleshoot if something's wrong i think all of us have that in common we're gonna do that so they didn't like that because supposedly in the manual here you're not supposed to take anything apart until you contact them directly. That that is just Ooh, that, that that's weird as hell. I've never heard of anything like that. <laughs> you got to contact the company before you take it apart the maintenance. That, that that Leave a comment, help me understand that one because all the companies I've ever Tipman, Berna, uh Grimberg, Homewrecker, uh Shit, I forget other ones. I was never told that with them. That's the first for me. That is really, really weird. Um, <laughs> and then to top it off, he's lecturing me. Well, you shouldn't have done that because that could have screwed it up. Uh, taking it apart and re-greasing the bolt. So, like, my first opinion then was, you know, it, <clears throat> if the bolt runs dry, that's not going to cause no harm. I mean, that's not making sense at all. It's like no liability here. And then, long story short with that, uh, whoever I spoke through through text and the email, they didn't leave no name. That's weird also. Uh, through, I'm assuming Defense Innovation or Modern Combat Sports, one or the other. Um, they tell me to ship it back. And then they say, oh, by the way, uh, make sure you pay enough additional money um, to cover insurance fee in case it gets lost in the mail. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what? Are you freaking kidding me? This is what I'm thinking. Are you freaking kidding me? Your name is on the product. You're not going to email me a pre-postage thing like any other company would. And then have me mail it back that way via UPS. 
to exchange it for a refund or for another one of these, which I would not want another one of these. You know how much money that would be? I believe it's like 10 bucks per $100. This thing's like $500, so figure 50 plus a box to send it out with uh, actual real-time tracking that's liable and easy for them to find with holidays coming up, priority mail. Look at that, over $70 out of my pocket, non-refundable. I got to send this damn thing back? Oh my God, really? Now, a lot of you are going to say you're really bitching about this, crying about it. Call it what it is. It's reality. This company here is a piece of shit. I don't care. I don't care. Good way to treat your customers who pay nearly $500 for this. Um, <laughs> they don't give no extra, like a lot of people are saying. Um, shout out to Smoking Uncle Frank. I don't think he'll mind me throwing out. He made a video where he even was talking about uh, it doesn't come with no spare O-rings, which I never really thought of that. But now I'm thinking, you know what? Tipman always came with spare O-rings. All the products that I ever remember having, a few of them. They even came with the tools to take the caps off and the gun apart, the launcher apart. I didn't even get an Allen key for this, for the detents. So yeah, I get stupid detents. And then 500 bucks, you don't even get two magazines. You have to pay 50 something dollars. I think it was like $53. Fuck it. There's a magazine there. Uh, out of pocket. Now, after all that with tax, you're looking at almost near $600 for this thing. What a ripoff. You can buy the Berna LE for less than this gun is, this launcher. And if you have an issue, they pay for shipping both ways. And you get it back within a week, week and a half. No issues at all. Hell, Grimberg, no issues at all. Only thing is that they don't have a machine to send you pre-postage. So if you send it back, you show proof on your credit or debit card of the receipt. And then they, they rightfully refund that. This makes None of this makes sense, you guys. None of this makes sense. It's a piece of shit. I don't like it. Um, it's garbage. It's, it's junk. It's a paperweight. I blew another O-ring today. Now getting to the O-rings, when I said this bolt has plastic all over it, I was mean the O-rings. Who the hell would put O-rings in a gun, this a launcher this high powered, when CO2, everyone knows, plastic won't swell up. Plastic will crack when it's cold and under pressure. How, how, how the hell do they think this is going to be reliable at all? If it was an emergency situation. Here's the, here is the one part where everyone is having problems with. Some of them say, you guys say, it's shot out the barrel, you can't find it. It's right here. This is plastic. I shit you not, it's plastic. It gets cold. It freezes. It's right there where the, at the end here where the air intake goes. And it cracked. You can hear it. So you know I'm not bullshitting you. Plastic. This one's rubber and plastic. Kind of like a combination. Broke. You hear that? That's why I say buy American products, buy products made here in America, in the United States, so you don't have these issues. And when I said that, oh, everyone, all these internet trolls, probably most of them from other countries, probably countries where this came from, trying to boost their sales, who knows, uh, talking about... Oh, you're just representing Grimberg. You just like, you like Berna because me in the United States. You know what? You're fucking right I do. You're fucking right I do. You know why? Because they take ownership with their product. No questions asked other than what's going on with it. 
and they make it right. They make it right, right then and there, on the phone, next day it's shipped in the mail. And not at your expense. Now that's a company to give business to. That's a company to keep it going. So they come out with better products. Reliable. I got to thinking today with all these people coming across the border. This may in another country as cheap as it is. Where the hell do we know where these funds are even going once it leaves out of the, uh, the United States? Terrorism, maybe? How the hell do we know? So for any of you who want to leave a comment and say, oh, you're just trying to boost sales for Grimberg or, or Berna or any of these other companies that sell launchers that are made and built here and, and manufactured in the United States, you know what? You're fucking right I do, and I say it with fucking pride. Y'all want reality? There's some reality for you, you trolls. Get mad at me because I support the United States. I support the USA and businesses who proudly develop, design, and manufacture and fix an issue that is wrong with their launchers at their own expense. That's who I'm buying from. That's who I'm giving my business to. That's who I'm... Helping grow by buying their products. Not crap like this no more. I'm not even sending it back, you guys. It ain't worth it. I'll take the loss. I don't got money like all you guys. You know, we all have that in common right now. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. So, you guys want my final opinion? There you go. And for all you trolls out there who say, oh, oh, uh, the burner and all that shit's a toy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, call it what it is. At least that toy will fuck you up. This thing here is a toy. It breaks like a goddamn Nerf gun. And you can't get a part to fix it. Let me know what you guys think. Hit those comments if you want me to be more real on this channel and tell it like it is. Because I've had it. People taking advantage of us. And I'm not talking about them. Shipping wise I am. But I'm not talking about them. You, you know they should take a little ownership. And have supplies on hand. And before they start selling products. That's with any company. Any company. Hell Grimberg. I asked hey is there any way I can purchase some spare O-rings. And uh, D10 so I'm self-reliant. If I can fix it. I like to do it so I don't have to mail it out. So I can depend on it. Uh, being repaired right away if I'm able to do it. You know what they did? They sent me the O-rings. Watch that video. No questions asked. Yeah, I purchased them for a price, but they had them on hand. Them, they don't have this on hand. I don't even think this company who manufactures this piece of shit has them on hand. I know they don't, or why would they not send them to me? And all of you out there who are having the same issue. Like, share, subscribe. Hit those thumbs up. Keep this channel going. And if you're proud of the United States and give and, and purchase same products that are manufactured here in the United States to the, all these companies, even smaller companies like Homewrecker, hit those thumbs up and, and subscribe. Because from here on out, the only launchers you're going to see in self-defense items you're going to see on my channel is ones proudly made and uh, built here in the United States. The great United States of America. All these other countries, screw them. Have a good, have a good night, guys. Stay 5'11".